So I'm here with J.T. Strickler, a member of the Lower Columbia College uh, baseball team. So, uh, J.T., you know, looking back at last year, 2015, you guys won the championship, and you know, what kind of uh, what things did you learn from that and take into this season? Um, I think as a team, we need to take um, kind of like our team spirit back into um, this season. Last year, we had a group of guys that we were all really close, and we got along really well, and we all were pushing towards the same goal. So if we could bring that back to this year's team, then um, things are going to look good for us. And uh, for this year, there's you know fewer sophomores than, than it has been the last few years. So you know, being one of the sophomores, what kind of uh, responsibility have you put on your shoulders to kind of uh, help this team you know progress to that championship? Yeah. So this year we have twice as many freshmen as we do sophomores. So um, coach brought all of us sophomores in and um, kind of told us um, we're kind of their you know extra set of eyes on all the freshmen this year um, to help them out whenever they have questions and like where to, what to do at practice and stuff like that. Okay. And, you know, once again, you know, we look at high school compared to college ball. What are some things that you have seen in yourself, you know, things that you've developed and things that you've been uh, really had to focus on and work on? Uh, for me, it's probably adjusting to uh, the college pitching. Um, I've, in high school, everybody could kind of get a fastball over, and um, everybody's a fastball hitter in high school. But in college, you got to learn to hit the off speed because everybody's got um, better off speed pitches in college. So that was the biggest adjustment for me. Yeah, and so for this season, you know, being your sophomore year, what is kind of your primary goal that you have? You know, of course, winning the championships number one, but for you personally, what is something you're looking at trying to, to accomplish? Well, um, I'm looking probably to return as an all league guy, um, maybe all in whack again this year. So that was pretty exciting that I got um, something I got to do my freshman year. Mm -hmm. So um, that would be the ultimate goal for me this year. Okay, you know, and for baseball to achieve this level, we got that motivation, that, that push behind you. So who in your life would you say has been the person to really uh, kind of get you going? Definitely my dad. My dad, yeah. Uh, my whole life growing up, he's just kind of been there, like, getting on me, getting in the gym, getting in the cage, uh, getting my work in ever since I was fifth grade, pretty much. So, yeah, I couldn't do it without him. And then looking at, you know, professional athletes, is there an athlete you came with and said, you know what, I want to mimic either their work style, work, work ethic, or just the style of play that they have? Um, right now, I love Mike Trout. Um, I'm not kind of, I'm not as much the same player as he is, but Mike Trout, I, I do love him. <laughs> and then, you know, kind of looking at, at just, uh, you know, here at LCC, you know, th this is a town that's been known for being a baseball community. Um, you know, have you kind of experienced that level of, of, you know, where the town really supports you and kind of comes behind you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a couple of us guys on the team, we were going out to lunch the other day and, uh, we got approached by, I think it was a booster, and they, um, they knew us by name, and they paid for our lunch and all this kind of stuff, and that stuff kind of happens to everybody, like, frequently. Like, we'll go out to the stores, and everybody, or some people, like, know us, and know us by name, and say, hey, you play for the baseball team. You say, yeah, and it's pretty cool. Awesome. So, you know, looking at the kids who do come out to the games and watch you guys play, what advice do you have for them as they're trying to uh, move forward in their careers? Uh, just keep dreaming, yeah. Uh, keep working. You'll get there one day, for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.